French police said at least 12 people are dead after an attack at the Paris headquarters of the satirical weekly paper Charlie Hebdo. Media reports said at least two gunmen opened fire with automatic rifles and a rocket launcher inside the building housing the newspaper's offices, with one of the men captured on video shouting Allah. The suspects are believed to have fled in two vehicles. According to local media reports, the newspaper staff was holding an editorial meeting when the shooting occurred. Another 20 people were injured in the attack, including four or five critically. Police union official Rocco Contento described the scene inside the offices as carnage. Ten members of the Charlie Hebdo staff died in the attack, prosecutors said. Sources at the Weekly said the dead included co-founder Jean Cabucabot and editor-in-chief Stefan Charb Charbonnier. An act of indescribable barbarity has just been committed today in Paris, French President François Hollande said. He then defended the media, no act of barbarity will ever extinguish freedom of the press. France has raised its terrorism alert to the highest level following the shooting. These are criminals, barbarians. They have sold their soul to hell. This is not freedom. This is not Islam and I hope the French will come out united at the end of this, said Hassan Chalgoumi, imam of the Drancy Mosque in Paris's Saint-Denis -Saint northern suburb. The White House strongly condemned the attack. France, and the great city of Paris where this outrageous attack took place, offered the world a timeless example that will and do well beyond the hateful vision of these killers, President Barack Obama said Wednesday, adding that America's thoughts and prayers are with the victims of the terrorist attack. The New York-based Committee to Protect Journalists described the attack as a brazen assault on free expression. The scale of the violence is appalling, said CPJ Deputy Director Robert Mahoney. Journalists must now stand together to send the message that such murderous attempts to silence us will not stand. A journalist from a press agency located just across the street described the scene to French radio, saying many shots were fired from Kalashnikov rifles. He then saw two armed and masked people leaving the building. The eyewitness said he heard yelling and shots being fired on the street, and that police and emergency services arrived a few minutes later. A neighbor said a man had entered her building asking for Charlie Hebdo and speaking in bad French. She said shortly after, shots rang out. There are also reports the attackers said their act was to avenge the Prophet Muhammad. The barbarity of the attack has left France in shock. A short amateur video broadcast by French television stations shows two hooded men outside the building. One of them sees a wounded policeman lying on the ground and strides over to him to shoot him dead at point-blank range. Known for its irreverent tone, the left-wing magazine frequently comments on religion and culture. It published a satirical cartoon Wednesday on social media depicting Islamic State leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi as a New Year well-wisher. Thousands of people took to Facebook and Twitter in support of the publication and the cartoon, saying freedom of expression must be defended. Charlie Hebdo's offices were firebombed in 2011 after it published an issue poking fun at the Muslim prophet. Muslims also denounced the weekly for later publishing a series of crude comics of the prophet. Wednesday's shooting coincides with the launch of a controversial French book depicting France's election of its first Muslim president. Charlie Hebdo has featured the cover of the book, Submission, on its cover. Meanwhile, Danish media group JP Slash Politikens Hus, whose newspaper Gillens Post and published cartoons in 2005 depicting the Prophet Muhammad, has, has increased its security level because of the Paris shooting, an internal email showed. Gillen's post and publishing of the cartoons sparked a wave of protests across the Muslim world in which at least 50 died, 